Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Barry Norman on behalf of CMS Trader and Investing.com. And welcome to our class on day trading and understanding day trading and a couple of quick strategies for successfully day trading. Now, tonight's sponsor is CMS Trader. That's Capital Markets Trader, one of the world's leading providers of CFD and Forex trading. Now, because CMS Trader is a regulator provider, I'm required to give you a risk warning, so let me read it and get it out of the way. Trading Forex CFDs and spread bets on margin carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. You may lose more than your actual and initial deposit and could be required to deposit additional funds. Please ensure you fully understand the risk and take care to manage your exposure. Now, if you want, you can set up a demo account while we're in class tonight simply by going to www.cmstrader.com. And when you get to the platform, click on the buy or the sell button. And it'll ask you to pick a password and an email address. And it will open you, they will open you as soon as you verify your email address. It'll open you a demo account right away. So within minutes, you can be trading along and you can actually start day trading on the demo account. And anytime you want to click over to a real account, make a deposit, just click on trade for real and it'll get you all set up for a real trading account. But there's no reason you can't practice day trading on www.cmstrader.com. If you happen to go there during class and you can't get there, it means that CMS Trader is not regulated in your country and therefore does not provide trading services. They only provide services in countries in which they are registered, regulated, and licensed to offer trading services. Now, also CMS Trader offers a very large education package because they believe in investing in their traders. They also have no dealer intervention on trades. There's no conflict of interest between the broker and trader. And all your funds are segregated and secured by order of the regulator. And everything is overseen and reported directly to the regulators. You can have multiple trading accounts. You get free daily market updates and technical analysis. You get extremely fast execution, unlimited access to all the CMS trading platforms. And you get free daily signals. So you can trade a wide a range of instruments, including Forex, CFDs for stocks, commodities, and indices. And you can also take part in their watch, copy, and profit. That means you can use their social trading and find the best traders on their platform and just use one-click trading and copy their identical trades. Or you can use their education services and you can be learned to become a independent trader with CMS Trader. And you can use our video tutorials. You also get one-on-one -on -one sessions with a financial expert and a full library of eBooks. Now tonight's class is being recorded. If you'd like to see a recorded version after the class is over, give us about 24 hours. And then you can go to www.investing.com and look for the education tab and then go to webinars on demand, and locate tonight's class. You can also see all of our other classes there. So let's talk a little bit about being a day trader. Because I see a lot of people who make money consistently by day trading. But these are not the Johnny-come-lately types jumping on a fad fueled by bullish tape. They bear no resemblance to the secretary, the used car salesman, the dentist who showed you up on cover of Forbes and Fortune magazine in the late 90s. Or even you'll see in the marketplace today, all these landing pages and advertisements, the guys leaning against their Ferraris and their Rolls Royces. Yeah. Run like hell when you see that stuff. Because a day trader takes a lot of work. And they don't work for four hours of work day trading on the beach in the Bahamas. And don't get ready to give up your daytime job. But no, the successful day trader I know has been doing it for years. They all trade through retail brokers that everyone has access to, just like you and me, just like trading on CMS Trader. And some of them even do it with as little as $5,000 in their account because they don't make a living. They have a job. They make extra money. They make their vacation money. Some of them do. But what they have to do is on a $5,000 account, it's not going to happen. 
you have to slowly build that $5,000 account up to something large enough that you're making steady income down the road because you don't always have successful months. Some months, you know, I make as little as 10 trades a month. Some months, I generate virtually no income. I have five winning trades, five losing trades, or I'll have four really good winning trades and six really bad trades. You know, some months are just like this. Some months, there's very, some nothing to trade. Some months, are, you know, if you look for just clear-cut signals and very safe and secure trades, you know, and the highest probability trade, you get very little opportunity. But a day trader looks for a lot more opportunity because you, you want to be in and out of the market in a day, as the name says. So day trading is not an investment style or a philosophy. It is a level of financial mastery that most will never achieve, but millions desire. You know, I wanted to be a day trader 25 and 30 years ago. I'm too old for it. I, I can't watch the charts, the charts that off. My eyes get tired. I'm not fast enough. Computers today are faster than I am because I'm, I'm old. <clears throat> but you know, somebody who's, you know, who wants to do this, who, who gets excited about it, who's really into it, can make a lot of money. But trust me, dig into the deepest, darkest fantasies of even the most hardcore value investor. And you will find someone who wishes they could be a successful day trader. Everybody would like to be. It's like the pinnacle. Because anything that requires focus, drive, discipline, specific skill sets, and yes, even at times luck, is hard to do successfully. But because the vast majority can't do it, doesn't mean it can't be done. Nor does it mean it shouldn't be attempted as long as you do it the right way. So, Believe me, please don't be that person who's coming to get rich overnight day trading. Not going to happen. At the end of the day, participating in markets, it's only about one thing, making money. Because if you're not going to here to make money, and making money requires work. Different level, different work skill than going to your office every day, but it still requires work. And you should try to make money in the way that is not only the easiest, but historically has the highest chance of success. But life is more complex than the markets, and one compelling component of life is the desire to achieve that which most cannot and which sets us apart from the rest. Becoming a successful day trader will bring you rewards that far surpass the majority of market participants, but it is not without risk. Day trading can be molded around a person's current life, and that's one of the nicest advantages to it. Because we talk about day trading. It means you don't keep trades open overnight. It means you make them during the day. But today, with online trading, and there's markets versatile functioning you know, around the world, Forex trades 24 hours a day, five days a week. Now, there are barriers to day trading. We have to talk about these. Because originally, the only thing out there, and, and in the 90s, when you saw all these advertisements of secretaries and guys trading on the beach, okay, this was really in the stock markets. This was just after the stock market opened up the online trading and low commissions. But the stock market is very capital intensive. So this is because the minimum equity requirement for a stock trader who's designated as a day trader as the only industry that you actually have to have a day trading account. And your equity, your minimum position and your amount of equity is a lot larger requirement. And this amount must be maintained at all times. If the trader account, trader's account falls below the minimum, he or she will not be able to, to be permitted to day trade They'll be able to trade, but not day trade until the minimum equity level is restored, either by depositing cash or securities. But now that I've scared you to death, say, ah, this, I can't do this. But there are other markets to day trade, including Forex and CFDs. And with the development of CFDs as an acceptable trading vehicle and a regulated trading vehicle, it has opened up the market and allowed us, we can now trade the same stocks via a CFD with a very small capital requirement using huge leverage 
and not even having to be designated a day trader. Potential traders need to be aware of the other markets that require less capital and have lower barriers to entry. The foreign exchange market and the currency market offer such an alternative. Accounts can be opened for as little as $100. And that's hardly true anymore. And with $100, you can't even do it. But, you know, some of the guys out there are advertising as low as $100. But with leverage, a large amount of capital can be, can, can, can be controlled with a small amount of actual money. The, this market is open 24 hours a day during the week and thus provides an alternative to those who cannot trade during regular hours. So also, that was one of the biggest problems of day trading in the stock market. If you live in the U.S. and you trade in you know, stocks on the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ, you know, it wasn't so difficult. But once you move to Europe and you have a time change, okay, by the time you got home from work, if you wanted to trade, you could trade some U.S. market. But if you wanted to trade during the day or the morning, U.S. markets weren't open and you were trading with the FTSE or you had to deal with the hunger. And, you know, so you'd have to pick stocks that were open during your trading hours. Don't have to do that with CFDs. Now, CFD is a contract for difference market. It has also expanded greatly. A CFD is an electronic agreement between two parties that involves no ownership of the underlying asset. So the biggest difference between day trading in the stock market and day trading CFDs is stock market, you're actually taking delivery because the stocks are issued in your name as soon as you purchase them. But if you're day trading, by the time you've got somebody's done all the work, you're selling them and you don't really care. In the CFD market, there is no ownership of the underlying asset. Now, the underlying asset dictates the price uh, and, and, and the CFD usually mirrors the price of the stock. So this allows for gains to be captured for a fraction of the cost of taking ownership of the asset. As with the Forex market, the CFD market provides high leverage, meaning smaller amounts of capital are needed to enter the market. The stock market can also be, be traded using CFDs. While the stock is never owned, the contract allows profits and losses to be reaped from speculating from the underlying stocks or indices. Now, for day trading, it's very important. The high leverage does mean, and remember, does mean higher risk. But if a trader does not have a large amount of capital, like most of us, this market can still be entered with very low barriers. Educating oneself on the risk and building a strong trading plan are absolute must be for partaking in any trading activity. But you're, when you're highly leveraged, it becomes even more paramount. But for day trading, knowledge and experience in the marketplace, individuals who attempt to day trade without understanding of market fundamentals often end up losing money. You cannot be a day trader without getting yourself educated. You can't be a day trader to be guessing and gambling. It's not a roulette wheel because these trades are taking place way too fast. And before you know it, you'll be wiped out. You need to make sure you have sufficient capital because depositing $100 and trying to trade that even with 100 to 1 leverage, okay, one bad trade, and you're going to have bad trades, you're wiped out. Okay. Day traders use only risk capital, which they can afford to lose. Now, there are two important prerequisites. Number one is a good strategy. A trader needs an edge over the rest of the market. There are several different strategies can, that traders can utilize, including swing trading, arbitrage, trading news, among others. These strategies are refined until they produce consistent profits and effectively limit losses. A profitable strategy is useless without discipline. Many day traders end up losing a lot of money because they fail to make trades that meet their own criteria. As they say, plan the trade and trade the plan. Success is impossible without discipline. So after the method of trading that best fits you has been decided, not what the guy down there is telling you best fits him, and not the guy that you're seeing on the internet trying to sell you his strategy where you come to his you know, daily reviews and do what he tells you to do and trade those assets. No. 
when you can figure out what best fits you, you've tested it, the indicators, you know the oscillators, you have built a strategy and a trading plan that works best for you. If you're trading from home is your main interest, then you must decide what market you will trade based on your capital and interest. Then you must then make a comprehensive trading plan, not a strategy, a plan, which is also a business plan and decide how you will operate as a trader. From there, explore different online brokers and compare what they offer. Now, then it's time to start trading. And one of the reasons we want to trade with CMS Trader is because they offer everything with a simple, easy login platform. So you have all the assets, all the different trading styles, and everything you need to know there. But then it comes to, it's all about the strategy. Now, there are several main strategies that fit day traders. We have scalping, we have fading, we have daily pivots and momentum. Now, scalping is one of the most popular strategies. It involves selling almost immediately after a trade becomes profitable. You're looking for lots of small, profitable trade. So you enter a market, when it pips up, you sell. You're not looking for it to make you 200 pips. As soon as it makes you money, you sell. Fading involves shorting stocks or assets after rapid moves upward. So in other words, euro or Bitcoin or dollar soars upwards. Okay, You know it's going to hit that peak for a short time, come back. And you don't know where it's going to fall back to, but you're going to trade as it eases back down. So this is based on the assumption that they are overbought. Early buyers are already, already beginning to take profit and existing buyers may be scared out. Although risky, this strategy can be extremely rewarding. It's heart-stopping. But anytime you know, you're sitting back and you see the euros skyrocket up, if you can get out there, get in there while it's skyrocketing up and wait for it to almost hit that top, wait till it's hesitating, you know it's going to have a small adjustment or correction as those buyers who enter down at the bottom are selling out to take their profits. Because again, in day trading, you're only looking for a few pips for every trade. Then you have daily pivots. This strategy involves profiting from a stock's daily volatility. This is done by attempting to buy at a low of the day and sell at the high of the day. The day. Here, the price target is simply at the next sign of reversal using the same patterns as above. Then we have momentum. This strategy usually involves trading on news releases and finding strong trending moves. Like if we know it's the non-farm payroll, we know Mario Draghi is going to make a headline or North Korea shoots off a missile, or something happens in the Middle East that's going to affect the oil. You know, and we're not saying directly affect. You know, a war breaks out between you know, Saudi Arabia and UAE. Okay, Something happens in, in the Gulf with Iran. It's going to send oil prices skyrocketing just for a few minutes because it maybe end up being nothing. But if the news comes out, it's going to push it up. So one type of momentum trader will buy on news releases and ride a trend until it exhibits signs of reversal. The other type will fade the price surge. So it's all about strategy. So let's talk about momentum day trading strategies. Momentum is what day trading is all about. One of the first things I learned is the only way to profit is to find assets that are moving. And this is the first thing you can, you know, you can have your group of fav you know, favorite assets. But, you know, if the euro is flat for the day, okay, most likely the euro dollars can be flat. Most likely the euro pounds can be flat. Most likely the euro Australia, unless something happens in one of those countries. So it's not going to do you anything. So the first thing is to finding assets that either are moving at present or have something on the counter or some headlines are coming, you need to find assets that are going to move. The question is, how do we find them before they make a big move? Well, flat assets don't help you. So we need to look around and see what assets might have to be. doesn't mean they will ever gather that momentum. Before going any further, let's step back for a moment and ask yourself what we require from a momentum day trading strategy. First of all, we need an asset that is moving. Assets that are chopping around sideways are useless. So the first step for a trader is to find ones that are moving. The price action associated with this event is almost always the cleanest. Now, bull flags are my absolute favorite charting pattern. In fact, 
I like them so much, I've made pages and articles devoted to them. Now tonight, we're gonna watch a short video, not that I made, but a friend of mine in the markets who made, and it's a four minute video on identifying these bull patterns because they are a great way to trade. And the only reason we're gonna share this short video it's a new beta testing for Citrix go to meetings and we want to see how well people react to these short videos in the middle because it used to be you couldn't hear or see a video so I couldn't play it. So we're going to test this out and I'm going to pop one up in a minute and it's going to be a very nice explanation of understanding and where these bull patterns come from and how to trade them. So as a pattern-based trader, I look for patterns that support continued momentum. So with the bull flag pattern, my entry is the first candle to make a new high after a breakout. So we can scan for assets squeezing up, forming tall green candles of a bull flag, then wait for the second or third red candle to form a pullback. The first green candle to make the high after the pullback is my entry with my stop at the next pullback. Typically, we see volume spike at the moment the first candle makes a new high. That is tens of thousands of retail traders taking positions, sending in their buying orders. But remember, risk management. Because I usually set a tight stop just below the first pullback. Now, in order to do this, you have to learn and how to read candles and have to be able to understand what a bull pattern is. You also have to be able to read your charts to see when a pennant or a flag exists. The reason I use a 20 cent stop is because I always want to trade with a two to one profit to loss ratio. Now, I only use a three to one, but like I said, I'm not a day trader. In other words, if I risk 20 cents, it's because I have the potential to make 40 cents. Exit indicators. Now, you have too many people don't develop exit strategies. Okay. They might put a stop loss in, they might put a take profit point. But if you're day trading, okay, sometimes you want to let your money run. But an object of a day trader is to make little bits of profit many times. So, what's wrong with selling half of your position as soon as your first target, which is very short, is set up? So if I'm risking $100 to make $200, once I'm up to $200, I'll just sell half of my investment. I'll close out half of my trade. I then adjust my stop to my entry price on the balance of my position. So I move my stop all the way up. I've already locked in profit. I've sold out half of my investment. My profit is already in my account, and I still have half my investment trading, but my stop loss has been moved up to my break-even point. Now, what happens if the asset turns around and reverses against me? I get stopped out. I get zero for the half of the trade that I have still trading out there. But guess what? I got that profit already in that first half of the trade. So if I haven't already sold half, the first candle to close red is an exit indicator. If I've already sold half, I'll hold through that red candle for as long as my break-even stop doesn't hit. Then extension bars force me to begin locking in my profits. And if the asset keeps moving up, you can keep moving your stop loss up and stay in there. Okay. But you're looking for a reason to close the market. When I'm lucky enough to have a spike up while I'm holding, I sell into the spike and I walk away with a huge amount of profit. But it, at this point, once I've sold out and done my first step one of exiting, I've already got my profit locked in. The rest is a free ride. And sometimes you can get a 100, 200 point surge. You're not sitting back saying, I should have left, you know, I should have stayed in the market because you stayed half in the market. You made your profit, which is the first thing you do. And the other half is trading with somebody else's money. So remember, it's all about the strategy. One of the simplest and most effective trading strategies in the world is simply trading price action signals from horizontal levels on a price chart. If you learn only one thing, 
it should be this. Look for obvious price action patterns from key horizontal levels in the market. If you just stick to that formula, you have plenty of high probability trading opportunities over the course of one year. Don't overcomplicate the process of analyzing the markets and charts and finding trades. The market will generate signals for you when it's ready. All you need to do is learn what the signals look like and where to look at them. So let me pop up this short little video that's going to explain to you how to find one of the most tradable price patterns, which includes support and resistance. So hold on a second. We're going to pop it up on there. It's only four minutes, and hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video because momentum trading can be a great tool for day traders because as that video showed you, we have lots of patterns, but they're all showing congestion coming to a point. Okay. Whether we have a breakout, a breakdown, a break up or break out, it's going to generate momentum at the time of the breakout. Okay. This is one of the key breaks of a support or resistance line and turns into whether it's short-term momentum or long-term momentum, there can be applied into your trading because again, you don't care how many pips, you know, whether that momentum, and there are formulas to calculate what that momentum should be. And it's usually the width of the triangle uh, because when the traders make that conviction of break out of that triangle, and you wanna confirm that of course with volume, you can use that in a very easy day trading strategy because then you're looking at price action signals. So the important thing we're focusing on this lesson is finding a clear price action signal at a key chart level. These levels tend to act like magnets, attracting price to them before price pushes away again. They can be thought of as value areas or areas on a chart where price found fair value, which typically happens before a strong move occurs again. Then we also have key areas of support and resistance. And we'll be looking for the pen, pin bar reaction where we see the most, the latest candlestick pattern break that support level by, a, by the shadow or the wick, okay. which tells you that the buyers in this case were trying to push down but couldn't hold it and bounce back up. Whenever we get a pin bar breaking that key horizontal level and can't break it, means we're going to have momentum back to the upside or reversed in a downtrend and gives us a clear-cut buy signal at that support level. Again, because we're only looking for a couple pips to get in the marketplace, it's another strategy that can be added into trading or day trading. And it's just called the pin bar trading strategy. Here is, again, we have a key level of support, okay, which has been identified ahead of time. And we see the pin bar come down to that, all the way down to that key level of support. And that pin bar is the wick, the lower wick or the shadow of that can the candle. Okay, and bounces off of that and then prices will move up. So when it hit that support level and was not able to continue down and we had this pin bar, it's giving us, so it means that we have a small candle and the sellers had a great deal of momentum but lost it and were not able to maintain it. That means the buyers are coming back in the marketplace. So we see this happen often. But finally, you know, let's look at counter trend examples of trading price action signals. Okay. Now, counter trend is just the opposite you know, for downtrends that a downtrend is uptrends and they're keying off of resistance levels. So the main point is lessons. You do not need a complicated and confusing trading strategy to find high probability entries into the market. All you need is the ability to recognize price action trading strategies at key chart levels. And if you focus on this one strategy and really master it, you'll be able to look at any chart of any market and find high probability price action. One of the best day trading strategies is always understanding support and resistance. And you have support and resistance from trend lines. 
you have support and resistance from eyeballs, you have support and resistance from swing lows and swing highs, and chart patterns. Because that when we drew that chart pattern you saw in the video, that upper line becomes a resistance line in a downtrend, in an up in a downtrend, and that bottom line becomes a support line. So you have two converging trend lines, a support line and a resistance, which are forming either the wedge or the triangle. And again, we're having that momentum build up into that point. Then another great day trading strategy are moving average crossovers. Now, most of you come to my class in MACD, which is moving average convergence and divergence, and it uses two sets of moving averages. Now, we have a short period moving average and a longer period. You can pick up what they want. For Forex, and, and for Forex is different than what you would use for commodities, and it's different what you would use for stocks. You have to find the formula that works. But a 9 period and 26 period could work. A 10 day and a 30 day. A 30, 60, 90 day. Depends on what you're looking for. And you're looking for the crossovers because the faster moving average, is the slower period, responds quicker to the most recent price action where the, the one with the longer range responds slower. So you have a slow moving average and a fast moving average. And when they cross over, it tells you the market is either bouncing upward or bouncing downward. So something happens when those moving averages cross. And when they do, you either get a buy signal or a sell signal. This day changing strategy generates buy signals when the fast moving average crosses up and over the slower moving average. And a sell signal is generated when the fast moving average crosses below the moving average. So you open a position when the moving average lines cross in one direction and you close the position when they cross in the other. Okay. How do you know if the price is beginning to trend. Well, if the price bars stay consistently above or below the 100 period, if you're using 100 period, 60 day or 90 day, then you know a strong price action is in force and the trade is left, should be left to run. So cross, moving average crossovers are very easy to trade from, very reliable signals. You can find lots of standard formulas for them for each market you want to trade. And you look for when they cross over each other and enter and exit the market. Okay, then we have scalping. Scalping is a trading strategy that attempts to make many profits on small price changes. Traders who implement this strategy place anywhere from 10 to a couple hundred trades in a single day. You gotta have a good heart for that one in the belief that small moves in stock prices or asset prices are easier to catch than large ones. Traders who implement the strategy are known as scalpers. Many small profits can easily compound in large gains if a strict exit strategy is used to prevent large losses. Scalping is a fast paced activity for the most nimble of traders. It requires precision timing and execution. Scalpers use day trading buying power of four to one margin in the stock market or 200 to one in the Forex market. Okay. This requires focusing on smaller time frame intervals, such as one minute and five minute candlestick charts. Momentum indicators such as stochastics, moving averages, MACD and relative, relative uh, RSI are commonly used. Scalpers buy low and sell high or buy high and sell low. So there are many strategies out there you can employ, but most of it, it comes down to risk management and discipline. Day trading isn't for the weak of heart, but it can be a way to make an extra part of your living if you're fast enough and can leave your emotions behind. So thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you for supporting CMS Trader. I hope you enjoyed the video insert. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a good night now.